box 19. It is empty. Um, take this thing apart real quick. I have put a little over 500 rounds to this gun since the last cleaning because I knew I'd be doing this video. I wanted it fairly dirty when I did it. this just even just applying the cleaner it really makes a difference I don't know if right was clean that just to it.
was up or not. This is what the rag looks like right now. This is what the slide looks like. this one, I got some better lighting down here. Looks like, uh, looks like I got some jacketed pieces in there, maybe. Maybe pieces of the casing. stuff doesn't say anything about having a lubricant in it so once I'm done cleaning I will go back and lubricate the gun I'll either hit it with some uh, CLP or I do have some rim oil Soak it down. I'm just gonna kind of wipe off. Get the scissors on the rag. Get down in that little divot there. Hoppies or CLP. I've got some other CLP cleaner upstairs. That's the uh, aerosol. You spray it, you wipe it on, you let it sit, you go back and clean it off. so I've not done it, not ever did it, I've had this car in about five years, um, the back of my Glock slide here, I've not taken that piece off and removed the firing pin and all that good stuff, um, from what I understand, from what I've heard, it really don't need to be done, as long as the firearms kept clean and maintained and Never open this stainless steel gun brush. Extra 
cleaning power for caked on powder residues and burn marks. Excellent for cleaning the face of a revolver cylinder. The handle is made from a durable polypropylene plastic. Huh, oh, polypropylene. That's what I haul. That's what your car's not the bumper, not the actual bumper, but the cover over the bumper. A lot of your interior dash pieces are made out of polypropylene. Man, that almost looks new. I can't think. You might tell me what it's called. I on the slide, or the on the slide on the inside. Rear of the slide, front of the slide. So, this would be on the right hand side of the slide. Right behind the ejection port, you got this button here. Um, I know it has something to do with the safety of the firing, or it has to do with the firing pin. I know you cannot push the firing pin forward unless that is pushed down. Right now, I cannot push the fire pin forward, but I push this down, the fire pin comes out. I don't know, hold that fire pin out. I'm gonna lightly. I don't know how. I don't want to destroy, damage anything. I don't know how easy it is. I'm just gonna lightly brush through there. Bring it back. I'm gonna take some more of my nano detergent. Used it a little bit on a Mosin. I've not taken the Mosin completely apart, so it's kind of hard to get a good idea. Which is what I was going to do is do the this cleaning, testing this uh, on the Mosin. But I think I can get a better. seeing so far, I am absolutely going to be ordering some more of this stuff. Um, another thing about this, hoppies, if you open this up, you don't want to, this stuff here really has no smell to it at all. I could probably sit here and smell this all day long and it not bother me one bit. Oh, sounds like I got a grandson upstairs, so I want to see it. I need to get him in one of these videos. Uh, I'd like to do a video on uh, why we fight for our gun rights passing down to the next generation. say I'm impressed, but to be honest, I think I'm overly impressed. 
cleaning him with this stuff. I didn't think I'd find anything better than hoppies. I'll set that aside. Take this, take the dirty pee, the dirty section, and I'll fold it in. I've got a fairly basically clean piece there. CLP for lubricant or the uh, rim oil. I don't know if, it, if there's any nano cleaner on there. What I've seen, I'm assuming, is break it down. Granted, I'm not. Not perfect yet. The rag. Do a good job when you go to wipe your gun down. It will come out clean. The clean rag you use to wipe it down will come out clean. I'm not getting down in some places with the cleaner. And then when I go to wipe it off, it is getting down in some of those areas a little bit. So therefore, the rag's not coming out perfectly clean. But where I've where I've actually wiped down at with that nano cleaner, yeah, I really need to get something in there. That is, that is a little nasty in there. be 
cleaning it with this nano detergent before I take it in. Alright, I'm back with you. Uh, had to get up and check my recording. Uh, this camera, I've only got 29 minutes, uh, actually 28 minutes that I can record, then it stops. Uh, I was down to seven, only seven minutes less, so. Uh, my Jack, Jagerman, Jagmag, Jagman Mag. Uh, you can see I got the pink one there. Um, so the ammo I'm using, or gun was at 30. Um, got some black on there. Don't wipe it right off. Of course, I, uh, can't remember if I cleaned the gun or not, but I did the video with Accuracy Firearms, the indoor range, and this firearm was like that, and I wiped it down before we went to the range, and after one mag, it looked like this again. What I need to do is take this thing apart. here. I got two better arms kits here. Uh, actually probably got about one and a half. Had one ended up, I don't know what happened to the pieces, but uh, and I should have brought my reading glasses so I can see. has my fittings. Used to have a Winchester kit, had some good brushes in it. No idea what happened to it when it came up missing and removed. Let's see. I'll put this on there and I can screw this in here. I can put the handle on the end of it. I don't some of this stuff loose in here. Bye.
see a little skip in the video there. Uh, sorry about that. Um, I got to cleaning the barrel on that Glock 19 and got it all done. Got the video done. Went up to stop the recording and the camera had shut off on me. So I got another firearm here that needs cleaned. Uh, EAA witness, hammered 40 cal. Do have the loaded magazine here. Firearm is empty. Probably can't see that from the. But, uh. bring this up to the camera. I don't know how well I will get so we can see down that barrel. But I uh, guess when I look at the video we'll find out. I did with my lock course it may fit down there better with detergent I was I can I cannot explain how impressed I was with uh, how well it cleaned the barrel on that Glock 19 um, they 
basically uh, ran the cleaner down at once. Usually at this point using Hoppies or CLP, I'm still getting a bunch of black out of it. And this is what I get. I ran the cleaner through it. I changed the patch. Run the patch through it, kind of wipe that out of there. Grab another clean patch to wipe through it, and it's clean. My impressions on this Super Nano bore, Super Nano detergent bore cleaner. I I don't know how to explain it. It's I will definitely purchasing some from them. They have uh, cleaner, they have oil. I'll be purchasing some oil from them. The state of this does not have any lubricant. No, it doesn't say anything about having any lubricant in it or anything else. I didn't get it on the, that's what I missed on the block 19. I wanted to clean the bar, uh, barrel so you can see it. Finish out the video. Um, I will definitely be purchasing some more of this stuff.
block opener or not, but I think it's a mag out. I don't have quite a full mag on there. Fire the last round. She locks open. I would highly recommend this Super Nano detergent bore cleaner. Um, it is non-flammable. I did check that out. Um, I took some hoppies, um, put a small container or a small amount in a metal container, lit it on fire, and of course it ignited. <coughs> I took a small torch, and this I could not get this to ignite at all. Uh, Non-flammable, ammonia alcohol abrasive solids free, uh, cleans and repels dirt and carbon. Superior corrosion protection. Biodegradable, high performance technology. I will agree with high performance technology. This stuff works really good. Um, comments. I'd love to hear them. If you want to see me do clean anything else, get a little bit better, uh, better show how this stuff works, let me know. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, thumbs up button, and hit that bell if you haven't already. Appreciate you watching.